Gemini in Google Workspace. For many of us, it feels like the world has gone AI crazy. I know my feeds are full of memes about either how awesome the AI is or how it's absolutely useless and it can't even draw hands, while some are proclaiming that why can't the AI just do my laundry and let me do the fun stuff instead. From talking to our clients, we know there's a broad spectrum out there, from those who are happy to embrace AI to those who are hiding under a rock. If you are somewhere in the middle and you'd like to find out how AI can help you in your day-to-day -day life, we're going to have a look today at Google's Gemini offering and how it's incorporated into the Google Workspace environment that you already know and love. It might surprise you to know that you've actually been interacting with AI in your Google Workspace environment since as far back as 2015. AI is embedded in many of the functions you use without even thinking about it, like chart suggestions and smart compose, and even those handy suggested permissions that pop up when you assign a comment or pop a file link into a chat space. It's been there all along. And if you felt under pressure to be getting on board with generative AI, then Gemini for Google Workspace is a great place to start, allowing you to leverage AI capabilities in a familiar environment without having to master a new set of skills. So where can we find Gemini in our existing workspace applications? Well, this all depends on the Gemini add-on that you opt for. And there are four Gemini add-ons currently available with a differing price point and feature set. First up, we have Gemini Business, a well-rounded add-on giving Gen AI capabilities across Gmail, Google Docs, Sheets and Slides, and Google Drive and Meet and includes gemini.google.com as a core service, all subject to monthly limits. And all, very importantly, have enterprise-grade data protection. This means that unlike any free generative AI applications that your users are currently interacting with, licensed Gemini users interacting with the AI are protected by their existing organizational data boundaries. In short, your organization's data is not being used to train the model. And finally, within the last week, we have seen the arrival of Google Vids as part of the alpha features for this add-on, a whole new Google application for creating video with both AI and non-AI functionality. You'll definitely hear more from us about this new application in future. Gemini Enterprise looks very much like the business package, but without the monthly limits and hacking some additional security in Google Meet features, including but not limited to live translation for 100 plus languages and the take notes for me function, which can take notes and action points for a meeting, much like an enthusiastic intern. AI meetings and messages is a slim down add-on for those that want the AI functionality available for Google Meet but don't need the AI feature set available in other Google applications. This will include future chat features, which are currently part of the Gemini roadmap. Lastly, AI security, an add-on that gives admins the ability to train the model, to recognize the organization's criteria for sensitive content, and to automatically apply labels to both new and existing documents. In this video, we're going to explore the Ask Gemini feature, alternatively known as the Gemini side panel. We like to say the Gemini side panel is like having an enthusiastic intern to help you summarize, draft, create, research, and in some cases, review your work. The side panel is accessible across Gmail, Google Docs, Sheets and Slides, and Google Drive. With so much functionality available, let's take a look at Gemini side panel in our heavy use applications, Gmail and Google Docs. Within Gmail, Gemini can help you quickly interrogate all of your email for information, complete a search using natural language, or run a web query without leaving the Gmail application. To activate the side panel in your Gmail interface, click the Ask Gemini icon on the toolbar the side panel will slide out and you can begin to interrogate your emails. 
add your query in the prompt bar and hit enter. I'm asking Gemini for my last interaction with a colleague, Mary. It's able quickly to tell me when we last emailed and the subject of that email. I could also have asked it to show me all the emails from Mary. Here, Gemini is able to run a search query in my emails and return all the emails from Mary in chronological order. I can also perform this search for a project I am working on to see all the emails that reference that project. Perhaps I want some specific information that is somewhere in my emails, like what airline I last used to fly to London. Gemini can surface that for me, and I can now prompt Gemini to conduct a web search to look for available flights with that airline in the coming days. It's important if requiring information from outside of Gmail to include the term web search or Google search in your prompt. Use Gemini to quickly summarize an email or question its content in natural language. Customer support staff are tasked with dealing with high email traffic daily, dealing with questions, quibbles, and sometimes complaints. With an email open, engage the Ask Gemini function and ask Gemini to summarize a lengthy email. Quickly, Gemini can break down the email into an easily digestible summary to quickly help you understand the key points of the message. Once understood, you can employ Gemini to draft email replies or start a fresh conversation and use the refining functions to elaborate, shorten or formalize from the Compose window. Let's reply to our angry customer. Still within the Gemini side panel, I can prompt the AI to draft a response. I ask Gemini to be empathetic, to outline the steps to resolution and resolve the query. Gemini gives a detailed email response, which I can now copy for the reply email to the customer. To draft an email from scratch, engage the side panel from the inbox and add your prompt. The more detailed, the better the output. I'm asking Gemini to draft an email to introduce our new acquisitions manager to the team. I have filled the prompts with bits of necessary information and requested an aspirational and humorous tone. Gemini gets to work creating the first draft and I can lift the copy and open a compose window and paste it in. It's really important when using Gemini to draft that you review the content for detail and accuracy. At this point, I can also engage the Gemini editing functions to formalize, elaborate or shorten my text. Next, let's look at Gemini and Google Docs. Utilizing Gemini inside of Google Docs, you can quickly summarize short sections or the entire document. Alternatively, you can summarize another document from the Google Drive to inform your writing. So how does it work? As we saw in Gmail, the Ask Gemini icon appears on the toolbar and is accessible in the same position across Sheets, Slides and indeed Google Drive. The side panel can be expanded for a better view and when engaged, we'll start to create a default summary of the document. I can ask for a summary in a specific format if needed. In this case, I've asked for one paragraph, but alternatively, I could ask for top 10 key points or technical review. The limit is your imagination. For this document, I need to add a quick summary about a management training program. I can use Gemini in the side panel, asking it to review a document I have access to in Google Drive. In this case, I'm going to use the document URL as a reference. I can also use the at sign to bring up a file finder and type in the name of the document. Gemini returns the summary and I can see from the source button what documents it referred to in order to create the summary. I can now copy the summary and paste it into my document where required. One of the greatest advantages of engaging AI in your Google Docs is overcoming the blank page. Using Gemini, you can get from nothing to first draft or can take an existing draft and polish it up. When starting from scratch with your prompt, as per the email we saw, the better the detail, the better the output. I enter the prompt in the same way and Gemini returns a draft. Here, I have the ability to retry the prompt give feedback, and insert the text directly into the document. 
I can now really start to hone the draft. I want to delve further into this paragraph, so I prompt Gemini to expand on this idea. Gemini rewrites the paragraph, elaborating on the content, and again I can insert the new text, remembering to remove any existing text, and it's possible to adjust even by sentence, here highlighting the sentence and suggesting a different metaphor. Once again, Gemini reimagines the content as prompted. In Google Docs, Gemini is not simply a text creation tool. I can also research information to inform my writing by completing a web search without having to navigate away from the interface. Here, in its very simplest form, I'm quickly asking Gemini to use web search to give me some synonyms for amplified. It returns multiple options and explainers which are sourced from a Google search. Finally, I can create a supporting image to go with my document, allowing my colleagues in the communications team to utilize the content for internal or external promotion. Mary's hobby is playing ukulele, so I prompt Gemini to create an image of a ukulele with some sheet music. Four possible options are returned, and I can use the insert button to add them to my document. That is a lot of functionality in just two applications. Let's quickly look at the functionality that you'll also find in Google Sheets and Slides. Within Google Sheets, use Gemini to summarize your worksheet or use the file finder to reference and summarize other spreadsheets in your Google Drive. Create spreadsheet templates, prompting Gemini to design fully formatted tables, which may include drop downs or suggested content. Ask Gemini to suggest formula or formulae to help you uncover insights in your data. And use natural language to ask for help in using Google Sheets, perhaps to understand how to trim white space or freeze rows. In Google Slides, Gemini can help you to summarize your presentation or other files in your Google Drive to help you write. Prompt Gemini to generate slides based on detailed prompts or referencing existing documents within Google Drive. Create images to bring your presentation to life based on your prompted specifications. Or use Gemini to write on slide content or detailed speaker notes to support your presentation. Now, throughout the video, we've mentioned that it's possible to interrogate or summarize other files whilst working in the main applications. But it's important to note that the side panel can be accessed directly in Google Drive. Working in Google Drive, I can select a file and engage the Ask a Gemini icon. This will quickly summarize that file for me. I can also select multiple files and drag and drop them into the side panel to summarize en masse. I can also ask Gemini questions regarding these files. As these files are contracts, I can ask Gemini who has the highest salary. Gemini is not just able to give the answer, but will also provide context for that answer. These contract files are sensitive, of course, and I can only interrogate them with Gemini because I have existing permissions for these documents. It is not possible for me to ask questions regarding files that I have no permission to view. So if this video has whet your appetite and you're now interested in Gemini for Workspace, there are some basic considerations to keep in mind. If you're undertaking a trial or taking on some licenses for a pilot group, it's really important to ensure you have the correct audience for that pilot. Are you including the correct departments, the right hierarchical levels, and have you got the right number of people to really test the capabilities and the fit for your company? Make sure your users are hitting the ground running by implementing training and providing resources in advance. This helps them understand how to get the best from the tool for the period of your pilot. Lastly, as with all new rollouts, have a robust communication strategy in place so that your users understand the purpose and the format of your rollout and ensure sharing success stories and tips as the technology develops. Of course, we've spent a lot of time helping our clients do just this. So the first step on your generative AI journey might just be to talk to us. 
and let us help you to get the best from the tool from day one. Until next week, see you then.